Hey YouTube family, what's going on? It's your boy Winston back with another video. This time for Woody Wednesday, we are going to work with this. The Lynx Simplified Pergola System. Now, I know this is not completely, you know, this is almost kind of like cheating. But you know what? You're still working with wood. You're still, you know, putting them together. This is going to be my layout, by the way. It's going to be a 10 foot, 10 foot by 10 foot square. Uh, space but it's gonna have eight foot legs because I'm not a six footer and none of my families are you know seven footers eight footers but then we're gonna set up the the top just like so because I want to set up that little kiddie pool for my little one and you know because I'm you know trying to do so you know fill in this uh, space here that I extended in my backyard because you know i already made it you know clear with my hoa that i was already you know i was gonna lay this out and everything so um yeah so this uh, this is gonna be my top it's gonna look it, it's almost gonna look like that but it's gonna be 10 by 10 and eight foot legs so we have four for each corner and then we have the shade they call it the sun shade as you can see right there sideways then we have the 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 the, the feet and this is going to be if you want to mount it to a foundation or anything like that i'm not going to mount it to anything okay uh i you know because this whole structure itself it's already going to be so heavy even you know strong winds are not going to be able to blow that away but if you still feel compelled to anchor it down, um, make sure that whatever anchor you're going to use, whether it be a block, whether it be uh, a, a five five gallon pail full of concrete or whatever, uh, make sure that you get the measurement you need minus you know, you you get the measurement you want, right? And then you minus whatever height your uh, anchor system is going to be so these are going to go in the tip uh, on the tips of the the feet and you know what instead of just talking my head off i'm going to go ahead and start putting this together comes in each box will be styrofoam yay and then you have a corner this is what the corner unit is going to look like. That's going to go on all four corners. Okay. You put the screws in there. These will be the screws. It comes with instructions. But it's pretty simple, really. And... The drive, the drive is already right here. And here are the screws. There's two holes on each side. And then there's two holes on each side on the found on the on the bottom piece. Two holes on each side where the legs are going to go into so instead of just drilling straight into the uh, wood with the screws i'm going to take the extra step in drilling a little bit okay so that i don't uh, split the wood as i'm putting in the screws i'm definitely going to be going uh not too not too big it, this is definitely still going to be bigger than the than the drill bit I'm going to use, but to keep the wood from splitting when I put the screws in, I'm going to take that extra step and you know drilling some holes there. And it, as you can see, it's a perfect length. Okay, it's a perfect length, so that I don't have to worry about marking any part of this drill bit uh, so that I don't go too deep or too shallow. Okay, it's a perfect set. So, let's get cracking.
We're going to be now going into shade. Now this is the mountain brackets. Here's the shade assembly instructions. Then here's the shade. Ta -da. We go with beige because you know it, it matches the theme of the uh, the desert where you know pretty much where I live, Las Vegas. Yay! So why not stay with the motif? So roll that out. Uh, if I roll this out like so, you'll see these are the straps. This is where you're gonna mount the uh, corners there should be one in, the, in every corner you see that this is where you're gonna put the str you know you're gonna nail these down you're gonna screw these down and then you're going to snap these into place let me show you keep in mind though there are two different shapes ones for the corners and ones for the sides because you have to find a way to so, you know not only support these on the on the corners but on the on all four sides okay before i go installing this wanted to make it known that the illustrations on the instructions are far different from what i'm about to show you because this is the bracket for the shade in, in the illustrations, it shows that there's a you know, screw hole here and a screw hole there. No, you don't need any of that. So, we're going to mount all this together. Use this and this, but add this. Okay? So, let's do that real quick. And then, like I said, I'm going to pre-drill some uh, holes in there so that um, I don't uh, split the wood whenever I'm putting in screws. That this bracket calls for the ones for the screws that came with it, which will be a Phillips head. Like so. And then for the other part, need the uh bit that came with the kit <laughs> the bit with came with the kit and drill the uh, screws there it's rigid already but there are going to be screw holes on the bottom okay just so you know but we'll get to that in a moment. But for now, go ahead and work on the other three corners.
The next step would be to lay out the shade, making sure that the straps are up because if people are sitting underneath this thing, you don't want them to see the straps now, do you? I'm gonna leave them loose for now because I'm gonna measure it evenly on all four corners. With this one, you have to use the strap as your guide. So when you pull your strap straight towards the wood, you use that, you take a bracket that looks like this, mount it, maybe pull it a little tighter. That way you can get a baseline idea of where you need to mark your holes. Or your screw. I'm just going to use the screw itself. I have my I have my holes. It's not visible to your eye, but it's visible to mine. Again, I'm going to pre-drill the holes. Not super tight yet. I'm not going to drill it in all the way yet. And we're going to go back and forth. can tighten this but you know what I'm gonna leave it loose right now because I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna evenly spread out the tension since I started on this end I have to go across same thing if I start on one end go across don't go around in a circular pattern, no. Crisscross, okay? Voila. Now that we got all that out of the way, 
you can make your fine tune adjustments on the um, shade and then once you have that established now we can go on to the legs as far as the assembly of the feet go each foot okay it's going to have three sides that have two holes for a total of six now since most four by fours that come from uh big big box con uh, construction stores like home <clears throat> depot clothes uh they won't have perfect four by four uh measurements for these to perfectly fit you can however mitigate uh, or alleviate some of that problem by placing you know you know how there's three sides by placing these two holes center okay make sure that this peg or this foot is centered left and right so center it bolt it down and then put the two on each side uh, evenly distributing the the weight or the uh, tension or the pressure whatever you want to call it and then you just do that for all the other legs so I have uh, two right on this side I already have one on the other side uh, ready to install I already did that just so I could save some time the next the next part is gonna be kind of tough because I'm gonna need help while I lift one side my lovely wife will insert the uh, the legs on each corner Although you didn't see it, this is actually you know a three-person job. If you can, I had my lovely wife help along with my daughter, and while I lifted the other side with it using that ladder, they helped shove the posts underneath those other two, just like uh, my wife shoved the posts into this one. Well, now. It's ready to get screwed in. Once you have all four corners set up already, now you'll be able to screw in these two on this side and this two on this side and all the all four of these underneath to really secure the other two um, four by fours. So once you start driving in the screws, then everything else will start, you know, falling into place. After you secure those two, then I would just lightly lift up the uh, corner so that the wood would start uh, adjusting itself. But you could also use a level, which is also uh, what's recommended that you use. But I'm just doing it the, uh, the non-level way. extras in my pocket. Uh, 
got extras in my pocket. <sighs> Rinse and repeat for all the other four corners. I mean the other three. Now we got four corners bolted down. Now we move on to the corner supports. And they're gonna look like this, okay? Now, mind you, these are the ones that are gonna go in the corners, okay? I only have four simply because I'll be honest with you, this link system, it's not cheap. But if I can get just two corners, you know, solidly supported, we're all good. We're all good. I'll get the other, I'll get four more you know, later on down the road. But this is how it's going to come out of the box. Okay. And just by looking at uh, the other ones that I've already pre-made pretty self-explanatory on how you're gonna put that in now here's my dilemma um, some people may or may not agree with me on how I set mine up but you can uh, you can go about it two ways one you can don't mind that uh, I can I can easily wipe that down you could uh, cut a four uh, a 45 angle uh, 45 degree angle right there so that it it's mount flush or I'm gonna leave it like this because not because I'm lazy it's because I want more meat okay on the wood when I screw it down now you only need two screws okay and there's no other screws that you need to mount onto this wood Okay, so I'm keeping it like so, so that, it, you know, you'll, you'll still have a lot of, you know, you'll still have plenty of meat, no, you know, no problem, okay? That's why the screws are as far back over here as possible. So I guess, yes, you can cut a 45 degree angle if you wanted to, but I'm not. I'm going to get as much length uh, out, of, out of this piece of wood as much as possible. Okay? I'm going to pre-drill all four corners, obviously. Oh. Both ends by the eye, by the way. Uh, believe me when I say, you're not gonna have a shortage of uh, screws. You see how much screws and um, drill bits you have at the end of this whole thing, and that's not just, and that's not doing uh, eight pieces and doing four pieces. If you really want it like extremely stable, then you would have eight of these instead of four. But let's continue. If you're going to make this a uh, two man, you know, one man job, make sure you can't have two people on the ladder. You know, just as a disclaimer, you know, I did not encourage you in any way to have two people on the same ladder no that's a no-no for me so what I got is some vice grips to help um, support it while I go screw the uh, um, screws in when it's all said and done that's how it should look like okay presto now you have one corner all right again it's up, it's up to you, but I'm going to have one here and one going over there. You see where my I'm uh, imagining where the beam is by the use of my fingers. 
and then I'm going to have one going across this way on that side and across that way on that side that way you know it's supported it's supported this way and this way you know in case you know wind you know starts kicking up but like I said before this thing is such a heavy structure that the wind is not gonna simply just blow it away overall I'm very happy with this Lynx system simply due to the fact that I can always modify it say for example if I was to extend out more of the patio that way I could always add an addition going from there to here and and stuff like that so you could just have all you have to do is just change out this piece for an extension that can go out that way and so on and so forth you can extend it out that way you can extend it out this way whatever you know it's, it's completely modular you could even uh, they even have an attachment for um, this shade to go on to the sides or if you wanted to shade on all sides that would be fine too you can make yourself a nice little um, hangout spot maybe away from the house if you wanted to you see my big ass yard uh, <laughs> you can probably even take this over there and you know have yourself a little wusa moment you know away from you know away from the kiddos away from uh, you know the stresses of everyday life it's a great system really really is it's easy to set up all you have to do is just provide for the wood that's it and you have all these pieces that you can connect together and form your uh, nice little uh, pergola system so overall I'm very happy again and I was not paid by Lynx to uh, to do this video and I just bought it because I like it I like being different and you know it's just, it's just a thought you know that of the the ease of uh, putting it together it doesn't get any better than that so if you love this if you like this video please like share subscribe turn on our notifications bell and uh, let everybody know hey this is you know this is the wave of the future all right so until next time stay out of trouble you crazy kids okay see ya bye bye